δίκιο. Δεν μπορείς, δεν το βλέπεις. Έλα, φτιάχνω, είπαμε. Έρχομαι, έρχομαι, δεν το βλέπω. Ναι, ναι. Hello. Sean. I think you're looking for me. Hello, Sean. <laughs> I don't know whether to hug you or kiss you or what, what should I do? No. It's nice to meet you. At last. Yeah. Where's Charles? I mean, he should have introduced us properly. Is he waiting for someone to collect his luggage? Oh, he's not on the ferry. Oh, he's not here. What? Oh, you're joking. I'm not joking. I'm alone. I don't believe this. He knew how important this was to me. He promised me he'd be here. He makes me so angry. As far as I know, he wasn't even at the airport. I mean, I hung around as long as I could, but he didn't show. I tried him in his mobile, but no luck. I had to leave a message. Where are you, Dad? The plane's boarding. You've got 20 minutes. I expect there was some business crisis which he just had to deal with personally. You know what he's like. Always worked before play. This was a special trip, and Charles knew that. I've been married to the man for over three years, and this is the first time I get to meet his son. You do realize that if you hadn't recognized me, I have absolutely no idea what you even look like. Well, hadn't you seen any of the family pictures? The old snapshots, but nothing recent. You've changed. Yep. I'm all grown up now. Look, don't worry about Dad, OK? The last time I spoke to him, I said if he couldn't make it on time, he'd need to go on alone. He'll turn up eventually. Of course he will. Nothing is going to spoil your holiday, I promise you. OK, our little family get-together hasn't quite started out as planned, but we'll have fun. <laughs> Guaranteed, with or without Mr. Charles Logan. OBE. <laughs> So, what do I call you then? Stepmom? Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. The evil stepmother? No, that's not me. Um, just call me Roxy. Or if you must be formal, Roxy. How old are you now, Sean? I was 22 last month. You're not that much younger than me. A lady never divulges her age, of course, but um, I'm certainly not old enough to be your mother. I'd rather you thought of me as your friend. What do you want? Costa? Hello, I'm Costa, the best barman in the world. <laughs> ah, Christina, the bar manager. She runs the place, really. I'm just the name above the door. Hello. Now in Greek? Yes. I'm just going to phone Charles. He might still be at the office. Okay. Roxy Special. <laughs> Yamash. Change. Yamas. Yamas. You like? Well, well, not really. No, sorry, I don't like it. <sighs> There's no reply. I'm forgetting it's Friday. Like how's early today? There's no one there at the weekend. So... Well, don't worry. He'll call us when he's ready. That's the problem. He can't. The payphone doesn't accept incoming calls and. Although I had a line installed upstairs, it's only connected last week. He hasn't got the number. You could phone my mobile. It'll work locally. 
Remember, this is a very lonely island. We're very um, isolated. I'm going to try a few other numbers to see if I can track him down. Um, Tina, why don't you give Sean the guy the tour? Over there is the mainland, full of history and hotels. It's a wonderful view. Beautiful. I'm told Scotland is very beautiful. It's most of us, something. But isn't it cold there? I'm not used to cold weather. Could be freezing. The people are very warm, though. Some more so than others. It can be horrible. There's no odds from her. I've tried a few other numbers, but uh, no one knows where he is. And there was some deal in Switzerland that he was hoping to finalize. I, I bet he's gone there and left us a little note on the mantelpiece. <laughs> when, when did you speak to him last, Sean? Um, I spoke to him in the phone about two, two maybe three days ago. Yeah, because I picked up my ticket from the travel agents there. I think the next day I phoned them. They said it was too busy to pick me up, so she'd make more weight there, but which I obviously did. I phoned him at the start of the week. He was too busy to chat, as usual. That's why I forgot to give him the telephone number here. He said he was tired, but apart from that, everything seemed normal. <laughs> normal? It's not my father. Hi, Roxy. Oh, How are you? Lovely to see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. It's a bit basic, I'm afraid. Um, eventually, I want to have the whole place made over, but uh, oh, it's really difficult here. You know, everyone's very helpful and very kind, but uh, nothing happens quickly. It's always tomorrow, tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> it's a different world. Thank God for air conditioning. At least that's the one thing I did manage to get installed. So how long have you been here? Oh, a um, couple of months, just before the season started. Tell me, Sean, why didn't you come to our wedding? And why has it taken me years to meet you? Didn't I tell you why? Don't think he likes talking about the past much. Not to me, anyway. It's the same with your mother's death. My mother's mother, you know. Well, I read the newspapers at the time. I knew very little about what happened. The millionaire's wife found dead after attempted burglary. I hardly ever saw my father. My mother was the one that brought me up. She was the one that was there for me. I expect you know Charles a lot better than I ever will. You're his only child. His only son. He, he loves you. He really hasn't told you much about the past. Has he? Well, I better finish unpacking. Thank you, Roxy. I do hope we can get to know one another, Sean. Well, maybe Charles has done this on purpose. He left us alone for that very reason. Maybe he has. Then again, maybe he's a self-centered man that thinks of nothing else but business.
And whoever it points to has the choice of either a troop or a dare. Troops or a dare? Yeah. Watch. <laughs> right. Now, what I do is I have to choose whether I want to answer some sort of a really personal question asked by you, the truth, or perform some sort of a humiliating act in public. You got it? Like, um, down to 20 usos in a minute without puking. And that sort of a thing. Why else should you teach me a game you play at home? This is a stupid game. <laughs> Every country has games like this. A very stupid game. Oh, what's it to be then? Hmm? Oh, what day? Well, I think it has to be a deal. Will you? Mm. Um, okay. Right hand. <laughs> Left ear. <laughs> Left hand. <laughs> right foot. Um, you need a shot glass on the floor. And you have to pick up the shot in your mouth without pulling. <laughs> Is that all? It's very difficult. Can you do it? Well, it's not something I like to try, but I used to be able to when I was a Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you sleep? Uh, I drifted for a while. So voices woke me. I thought a glass of milk might help. Didn't realise you were still up. Sorry. You don't have to ask. Just um, help yourself to whatever you want. Anything? Of course. You're still on the phone to Dad? Yes. Um, I phoned Edinburgh a couple of times and the flat in Geneva. I was just trying the villa in Florida. The evening there, but um, no answer. Doesn't he usually stay at a hotel if he's on business? Normally, yes. And that could be anywhere in the world. Look, stop worrying. He'll turn up. You're right. I know you are. Charles is so unpredictable. It's like this place. You know, I fell in love with it when we first came here. I haven't mentioned to Charles that I'd always wanted to run my own bar, and, well, before I knew it, he'd bought the place. It was a dream come true for me. And a place where he could really relax and get away from it all. It's easy to be generous when you're extremely wealthy. You will be, one day. You are the son of a millionaire. It's not so great, you know. I mean, I've always had to prove my worth. Prove I can be self-sufficient without using my father's name or position. I'm expecting anything. You have it. You're his wife. Build yourself. Charles is the kindest man I've ever met. Don't resent his wealth, Sean. You don't... You can't be expected to understand. I do know that there's a, a yacht outside which your father owns. I was going to suggest that we go sailing tomorrow, but, um... If you find that offensive, we could always hire a grubby little dinghy instead. Right. Your sounds fine. I have to tell you, though, I'm no sailor. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm perfectly competent. <laughs> Coming in! No, 
no, no, I, I can't dive off here. I, I can't swim very well. Come on, you coward, it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. I hate putting my head underwater. It's all right. I'm here. Yeah, I hate being out of my depth, too. I like my feet firmly on the ground. Sean. Sean. Don't fall asleep in this one. It's very, very hot today. Turn over. You need some of this. You don't want to burn. I'm all right. You're the one that should be careful. See, I don't bump. Just a little, just in case. It doesn't hurt, you know. <sighs> it's funny. I love sailing. I love being on the water, just um, not in it. And maybe I suffer from claustrophobia. How long did you know that before you and he tied the knot? Oh, um, quite a time. I did some promotional work for one of his companies. We got chatting and he asked me out to dinner. I said no. Why? I suppose it was the thought of going out with the boss. And he was a lot older than me, but, um, hmm, so persuasive. <laughs> and he really made me laugh. So I stuck to my guns and I, I refused. The next day, flowers arrived with a note inviting me to one of the most exclusive restaurants in Edinburgh. <laughs> Turn over. I went to the restaurant, politely told him that I would be leaving work at the end of the week, and uh, requested he stop hassling me. Yeah, he seemed genuinely shocked. Upset, even. He apologized for being such a prick, basically. <laughs> oh, it started out as a friendship. Developed into something that was I know it sounds corny, but... You fell in love. Mm. It does happen, you know. Have you ever been in love, Sean? Yeah, twice. See, when I was seven, I got a little dog from the rescue center. A little black mongrel called Hamish. I loved him. He used to follow me everywhere, you know? He was like a big brother, a, a very best friend. When he died, I thought I would never get over it. I was heartbroken. It was about a year later that my mother... No. Now. Well done. I don't know what it is, but I've just always been really good at fixing things. You know, you know, if a mechanical or electrical. Mm hmm. It's a natural talent. Don't play with it, it's dangerous. You're perfectly safe. It only goes a distance to this cord. Ah. You're too far away. Now, if I to untie this, it would be extremely dangerous. I certainly wouldn't want to be in the receiving end. Don't point it at me. Put it down. Don't be playing around. Sorry, Mommy. What is it with you? One minute you're a sweet, sensitive guy, and the next you're an, an obnoxious brat. That's what you said you wanted, wasn't it? To get to know me? When I go out, we drink, you know, for good time. You meet with a uh, English girl, Greek girl, Italian girl. 
You know, for good times. Remember, my father will be here any day now. What will we do with him? He should have a young, beautiful wife. Maybe he's a dead Eh? Maybe he's got something you haven't, Costa. Yeah. Want some money. Okay, I'm going for a walk. Went for a walk. Got bored waiting for you. You said you'd be ten minutes. And I was over an hour. Hmm. Well, how do I look? Hmm? Worth waiting for? Hmm? Google up. I have no idea what you just said, but um, I take it as a compliment. It was. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. It's all right. Thank you. Went for a wander. Lost track of time myself. Ah, uh, that's a nice bottle of... Uh, the house right, please. Okay. Thanks. There's one thing my father's taught me. There's two ways to distinguish a good restaurant. The first, any self-respecting restaurant that will always serve a quality house bread. Mm. Maybe I'm a big wine drinker, of course. And the second? That the bathroom floor should be clean enough to eat your dinner off. <laughs> that sounds like your father. What's the rush? I'll stay if you want. Which one? I'm not lecturing you. I'm just saying that sun and you heard a lot of sun today and alcohol are a bad mixture. Yamas. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Roxy. Had my father been here, I'd be on my best behaviour. <laughs> but as he's not, we should get into know the real Sean Logan. Whoever that is. Sean, it's getting late. Oh, come on, one more go. Play. <laughs> oh, come on, free spin. I demand a free spin. No. Truth or dare. Yeah. I know. Oh. 
Να φιλήσω την πρώτη γυναίκα που θα του μιλήσει στα χίλια. Oh, I remember everything. Do you really want to know why I didn't go to your wedding? Hmm? Tell me tomorrow when you're so. No, no. Listen, look, look, listen to me. Whatever you've thought or been told, I might actually have turned up. If I could have. You see, I was away. Sent away. Locked up at the time. In a reform, a rehabilitation center for naughty boys. And do you know who paid? Yeah. Paid for me to be incarcerated for nearly three years. Hmm? Your husband. Your husband, Charles Logan, oh bloody e, my own father. Do you want to know why I spent all those years on a push no. that screwed me up no. more than ever? This is not the time. The kitchen floor was covered in blood. I was the only one in the house that night. I found my mother lying there. Slap. Dad, as always, was away. But the back door was unlocked. There was no signs of a break-in or nothing stolen. So I became prime suspect. I mean, why not? Hmm? Spoiled little rich kid takes tantrum too far. That's what they all said. It's crazy as it seemed. Even Dad started to suspect it. I dabbled a little in drugs and I was a difficult child. But luckily for me, the murder weapon was never found. The case never went to court. Nevertheless, Dad thought that I should be... Uh, ...disciplined. I was a 17-year-old mess who had to face three years locked away from the rest of the world. You know, occasionally I'd receive a telephone call, birthday card, brief visit before Christmas, that sort of thing. But it's hardly the sort of lifestyle you associate from the son of a millionaire now, is it? But it wasn't all bad, though. I mean, I don't take drugs anymore. Got myself physically fit. Learned how to defend myself. Believe me, that's the least I could have done once I'd find out in there who I was. But it didn't help me out mentally at all. Just thought you ought to know that. It's all right. You can be 
bed now. Sean, what are you doing here? I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. You're not alone. I want to help you. I really do. I know you do. Madam, madam. Oh. Good morning, Tina. Mm. Remember, you didn't want to sleep in today. You told me to wake you. No. Lucky I did. Did you have a bad dream? No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Just went to bed far too late. Have you ever been showing you them? No, he woke early. Made his own breakfast. He said he was going for a swim. And I told him a little time. You know, I just I would have thought he'd be suffering this morning. From what? Drinking too much, too much ah. wine. Mm. <laughs> I don't think he's used to it. Mm. Oh, thanks. I just assumed he'd have a hangover. No, he ordered some orange juice and did some exercises. <laughs> Such a headache. It's all I thought, really. Look at him. He is full of life. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Sean. He's so different to Charles. I think he's really very nice. Mm. And quite handsome, don't you think? Oh. <laughs> You're not getting my hearts for my stepson, are you? <laughs> I think he's a spoiled child. I look very much like my mother, but I'm a very different person. It is to be expected. Yeah. And maybe I'm expecting too much too soon. Mm. I wish I could swim like that. Why don't we close the bar every day? You can give me lessons. <laughs> it's getting cold. Do something interesting. <laughs> Come on, perform. No. Go. Bowman. No. Come on. Stop Let's it. Do something. Anything. Stop. Dance. No. So you haven't seen him at all, then? Look, Jackie, when you do, can you give him this number and ask him to phone me urgently? Oh, yes, he was meant to be here last Friday. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Go away. Go away, Sean. I don't want to be filmed. I thought you used to be a model. Oh, well, I was paid really well. How much are you paid? Nothing. Mm, I am. Um, I spoke to Charles' secretary. She hasn't heard from him. She thought he was here with us. Did you leave your number? Of course I did. Sean, please. Switch that off. What happened last night was no big deal, but... Why? What happened? You don't remember? I remember leaving the taverna. It was after that, so a bit of a blur. I was a disgustingly drunk. I didn't make a fool of myself. It's forgotten if you can't remember. 
And I'm just amazed you're not suffering from all the alcohol you poured down your throat. See, that's because I'm Scottish. Oh, is that what it is? Oh. I'm going shopping. Do you want to come? Uh, no thanks. Been with light. See you later. Poor woman. She was crying because her daughter Angelina is missing. So my friend went out last night. She hasn't been seen since. Her mum thinks she may have found. Why would she think that? Because she would not stay out all night without letting her mum know. And besides, I'm worried too. Every year, hundreds of people drown. She hasn't been missing that long. Hopefully, hopefully she'll turn up soon. No, I, I can't help but worry, you know? It's like I can feel there's something wrong. Yeah, I'm beginning to feel the same way about Charles. Maybe because Sean's here, I've tried to play it down a little bit. I'm really worried now. I've found everyone I can think of, left messages everywhere. I feel like I should be back in Scotland now. I suppose I should contact the police if I don't hear anything soon. I know Sean doesn't want me to, but what else can I do? Two people have disappeared. Don't you think it's strange? Yes, I do. Uh, is Sean in his room? I don't think so. I need some clean pillowcases. Okay. There are some in his top drawer. What did you want? Um, four, please. I can only find two. There are some more in the bottom drawer, under the sheets. Roxy! What's this doing in here? I could feel it hidden between the sheets. I don't know, it's not mine. I only keep linen in that drawer. It's so sharp, I could have cut my hand. Do, do you think it's Sean's? Well, it's certainly not mine. I hate knives. And besides, Sean is the first person to stay in this room. Why bring it here? <sighs> I have no idea. Tina, uh, put it back. Καλό πολύ πηγαίνετε. Αφήστε μας να κάνουμε τη δουλειά μας. Έλα. Tina. I wish she wouldn't call me Tina. My name is Christina. She has to show me. She could call me Chris or Christy or Chris. Tina. I'm upset. I'm not thinking right. I'm sorry about what happened to your friend. Is there anything I can do? If you don't need me, then I'm going to take a shower. Just coming. Feeling better? Mm. I'm okay. How are you? 
What did you want? You called me. I didn't realize you were talking to Sean. Where is he now? Charles? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to draw attention to myself at a time like this. I just couldn't help it. It's the body's way of dealing with shock, I suppose. It's understandable considering the circumstances. Did you know the girl well? No, not really. Christina did. Peaceful little fishing village. People don't just get murdered here. How do you know it was murder? Well, it wasn't an accident, was it? I mean, why would she slit her own throat? Someone killed her. This has been one strange holiday. What with Dad and now this. Yeah. Trouble does seem to follow you around. What are you trying to... You know this has nothing to do with me. Did I say it was? No, but you were thinking it. I suppose... Well, let's face it. My mother was murdered, my father's missing, and now this. It doesn't look good, does it? If only Charles were here, just one phone call, anything. You know what he would say, wouldn't you? I mean, you had no reason, you had no motive. You... You hadn't even met the girl, had you? No, of course not. I mean, I've got my faults, but I don't go around murdering complete strangers. Maybe I should go home now, eliminate myself from the game completely. This is not a game, sure. No one can leave the island. Not until the police have finished their investigations. Trapped here. Like rats in a trap. I know this is particularly difficult for you, Tina, but we must make sure that the tourists don't find out about this. Why? Some psycho serial killer might find this the ideal holiday destination. But if you're that worried about business, let's go and eat. Pretend nothing happened. What about the knife? You're not going to leave it upstairs, are you? I don't know what to do. You go to dinner, I'll take it to please. No, no, Tina, not yet. If the police believe the knife is a murder weapon, what chance has he got? He doesn't even speak the language. No, no, I have to talk to him first. He could end up spending the rest of his life in a Greek prison when there actually might be some logical explanation be for careful. this. Be careful! I see. I see what you mean now. There's definitely something wrong with Sean. I protect the lab now. And remember, you don't have a bedroom door, but you can lock in the lamps. Are you coming? staring at me, accusing me. Most of these people are tourists, Sean. I don't even know what happened. Their suspect's just the same as us. The only difference is, I don't expect they keep dangerous hunting knives in their bedrooms. I don't expect they do. Why would they? What are you talking about? Sean, I know what I saw. I wasn't checking up on you. I wasn't even suspicious of you. It was an accident. Christina found the knife in your wardrobe. She wanted me to take it to the police, but I said that I should talk to you first. What knife? A very sharp, very dangerous hunting knife. <sighs> so you find a knife in my room, and you immediately decide it must be mine? The room was empty, Sean. Nobody else has stayed there. Well, how did I get it through airport security? 
Wouldn't a knife be easily detected? I, I, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't lead stop x-rays? Maybe you hid it in some lead piping. Or... Of course. I always take lead piping with me on holiday. Look, I don't own a knife. But even if I did, I don't see what the problem is. It could be for fishing, wood carving, lots of different things. Look, I didn't kill that girl. And my father's disappearance has nothing to do with me either. Sit down, you are not doing something thing with my behaving like this girl. I didn't say that you brought it with you. There are shops here. You could easily have bought a knife. Yeah, and there must be hundreds on this island. You find one in my room and decide it's a murder weapon. I'm trying to help you. If that knife was used to murder that girl, what, what, what are you going to tell the police? Look, somebody's obviously trying to set me up. They put it in my room. But who, Sean? And why would they pick on you? God, it sounds like a bad case of paranoia. Show me the knife. Prove it. How do I know you're not making all this up? Why would I do that? Sean, please, you are making everything worse. You're not helping yourself at all. Don't bother using my father's money. I'll pay for this. Sean! Sean! Tina's fault. Don't go upsetting other people when they're actually trying to help you. Come just to fight my own battles. What is it then? I have tried to protect you. This doesn't look good, does it? Θέλω να σας δω και τους δύο αύριο το πρωί στο τμήμα. Εντάξει; We'll both have to go tomorrow morning to the police station for questioning. Αυτό πρέπει να το στείλω για εξέταση στην Αθήνα. Yeah, this will have to go to Athens tomorrow for forensic testing. Να μην φύγει κανένας από το νησί. Taxi, can I have something? Doctor, let's go with you. John, stay with me. Don't worry. We got a little hot-headed. We'll be there tomorrow to answer any questions. We have nothing to hide. Have you, Sean? Nothing. You said earlier you had a drink in the bar whilst you waited for Roxy. That's right. Do you know what was? You were there. Yes, but aren't you forgetting Roxy wasn't ready. So when you finished your drink, you went out for a walk. Soon after, I said goodbye to my friend, Angelina. And they think she was murdered around that time of the evening, the time you went for a walk. After I left the bar, I didn't see her again. Anyway, I thought you were supposed to be interpreting, not interrogating me. Pes tu nagati kato? Pes tu nagati kato amesos? Si. Tu ti spasi da nevra? The machete has gone through analysis. It will take three to four days. The knife's gone through analysis. It will take three to four days. Forensic science may be able to tell what the knife was used for, but it still doesn't answer my question. What was it doing in my room? And in my defence, I have to say, if that was the murder weapon I had used, why then would I put it back in my room for anybody to find it? I mean, there must be, what, half a million olive trees in this island? Would they not make more sense to hide it in an olive grove or even throw it in the sea? Christ, what sort of an idiot do you think I am? And we'll explain this to him. Is that okay, Spodari? Oi. How'd you get on there? Hmm? Not very well. Apparently, at the time of the murder, I'd went for a walk. Great timing, eh? Didn't even have an alibi. Sam Logan. Sean Logan. Yes. I'm William Tranter. With Interpol? 
I'm here regarding the disappearance of Mr. Charles Logan. Uh, this concerns the both of you. Is there somewhere we can talk in private? I've been in contact with the Edderbrook and Stadbury. They heard from Mr. Logan's secretary, Miss Jacqueline Ferguson. Yes, yes, I asked her to report him missing. Um, I don't know what else to do. Do you, do you know what's happened to him? Nothing conclusive, I'm afraid, yet. But I think you both have to prepare for the possibility that he's been involved in an accident. What sort of an accident? Well, as you know, Mr. Logan's a prominent man, and at first, kidnapping was suspected that no one's come forward, and after this amount of time, it seems unlikely. The only definite information we have is from a gardener on his estate. He witnessed Mr. Logan get in his car and drive away from the house early last Friday morning. We assume he was heading for Glasgow Airport to meet you there, but as he realised, he never arrived and none's seen him since. Oh, are you trying to tell me that my husband is dead? Well, we can't say for certain, but it is more than possible, I'm afraid. There are a couple of lakes and quarries on the way to the airport, and if he... Well, let's just say it could take a very long time and it could be difficult to figure out exactly what happened to him. So what you're saying is you've come all this way to tell us that you really don't know anything at all? I do have another reason for being here. I don't know if you realise, but the murder of the previous Mrs. Logan is still under investigation. The case was never closed. Now the disappearance of your father and the girl's murder have been sent in to assist the Greek police. You can't seriously believe they are connected in any way. Look, my job is to investigate. Until I've done that, I can't answer any questions. I did, in fact. But that is one thing that these three cases lack. But there is a connection. And that's you, Mr. Logan. <laughs> Great. So now I've killed my father as well. I don't believe this. But, oh, John, come on. John could be dead. I need to speak to you again. Whenever. As long as I can go anywhere, can I? You must be Christina. Yes. Hello. Hi, I'm William Tranter with Interpol. I've been called in to assist the police here. Unfortunately, Greek isn't one of my languages, and I've been told that perhaps you could help translate them. Certainly, I will help, but I um, have to ask you to be discreet with your investigations. We have new tourists arriving here today, and it's no good for us if they know of murder here. Only the few people that actually live in your village know what happened. Don't worry, I'll be very discreet. But I do need to know the names of all the people within this village on the day of the murder. If you have time now, could you tell the local police what I'm doing here? When I have their cooperation, there are a few things I need to look into. Can you do this for me? Certainly. Costa, prep na pasto kmi ma sa prosex to bar. Okay. Let's get back to work. Look, thanks again. I'm I'm off duty now. Can I buy you a drink? Maybe later when I finish. Join me. Take a seat, please. Is this official or social? Just a friendly drink, off the record. I'll get them. What do you want? Thanks, I'll uh, have a beer. Large one? Yeah, why not? It'll cool me down. It's such a warm evening. Is this normal? I think so. I've been here a week so far and every day's been the same. Uh, two large beers, please. What's this? Thanks. One week of what was supposed to be a holiday. Turning out to be the holiday from hell. That was Mrs. Logan. I don't think she would end until later on. She wanted to be alone for a while. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But at least I made some progress today with Christine's help, of course. Thanks. Greek's a difficult language. Cheers. It's 
very quiet here. I mean, what do people do for fun under uh, normal circumstances, that is? Not much. Some may find this place boring. Others would find it paradise. What about you, Sean? What do you think? I, think I should be back in Scotland. Only proof before I believe my father's dead. people to do that for you. I have got to keep busy. All this waiting is driving me mad. Anyway, I am... Um, I can't tell. He reminds me too much of your father. He loves me. Do you want any help? No, no, thanks. I'm, I'm nearly finished. Look, I'm going for my morning swim. Do you want to come to the beach for a while? Take your mind off things here. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Reaches those rocks over there. You're on. Well done. I'm not used to losing. I've always thought I was a strong swimmer. You are? Just not as good as me. I'm beginning to get some feedback from my inquiries. I'm still waiting for the forensic report, but it should be here sometime tomorrow. But we now know that the knife was uh, purchased from a company operating just outside of Edinburgh. The serial number tells us it was manufactured six years ago. Now, the company that sold it stopped trading five and a half years ago. This gives us a maximum period of six months from the time it was made to when it was sold. A few weeks after this, your mother was murdered. Killed with a hunting knife, similar to, or identical to the one found in your room. You'd save a lot of people time and trouble if you just confess. Let's face it, you got the motive. Kill your family. You stand to inherit millions. Murder your mother, make it look like an intruder did it. Drug your father, tamper with his car to get him out of the way. Makes sense. Well, it's not true. Tell me then, why would I kill some innocent girl who had nothing to do with any of this? Isn't it obvious? You had to make it look like some sort of serial killer or lunatic was on the loose. Setting up your final target, your stepmother. Leaving you to play the role of the grieving innocent, a role which I'm certain you would have played with great conviction. If Christina had never found your knife, who knows, you might have even got away with it. That's crap. Come on. I'll give you another chance. Bust across the bay.
getting out of here. I've just been subjected to a new form of police interrogation, where they try and drown the subject. What? What are you talking about? Who's trying to drown It's a man you? from Interpol, that's who. He's lost it. I'm going to pack. No, 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 Sean, please don't go. I have to leave now. Oh, don't be an idiot. Even if you could leave the village, how are you going to get off the island? I'll find a way. If you want to help me, you can take the yacht to the mainland. Mm. Just go back to Scotland and find out exactly what's happened here. I'm not staying here to be victimised. Can't you see if you run, they're going to think you're running because you're guilty. You've been patient long enough. Just wait a little bit longer. Don't get too close. I'm dangerous. Remember? Stand here all evening. I thought you were leaving. Yeah, um, in the morning. Good. I wasn't until Okay. Good. I owe you one. It's my round. You tried to kill me. All in the line of duty. Let's not get too dramatic. I only did it to scare you, to get to the truth. Sean. You haven't had any dinner. Would you like something to eat? I'm not hungry. Don't have to either. Sean, no! Let them go. Maybe this is best for Execution. What? Eye for eye. I haven't done anything. You see, the body's nothing is happening. See, yeah, that's it. You, you cannot leave the island. Okay. What happens now? Well, he knew he was cornered. He knew this forensic report would prove him guilty. 
Traces of his mother's DNA and the girl's were both found on the knife. Murders committed five years apart, but with a knife bought from a store just around the corner from where he lived. He never had a hope in hell of getting away with it. My report will state that he was mentally disturbed and couldn't live with his guilt. So he drowned himself, committed suicide. Game's over. Same again, Tina. Please. My name is Christina. That was one bizarre day, Christina. Wicked, wicked woman, Roxy. Am I really? No, you're no angel, are you? <laughs> Love it when you talk dirty. You always could turn me on. <laughs> God. Charles's idea of foreplay was reading me the Wall Street Journal. No, I don't like it when you smile. We haven't gone through all of this to be found out now. Just the one. Stop worrying. It's just taken five years, but you were right. It worked. And it was worth waiting for. Mm. Even when everything didn't go according to plan, it still worked out for us. Mm. If the locals hadn't done it for you, how were you planning to get rid of Sean? I always thought training was the best way. But if they hadn't done it, maybe I'd have had to take him out of town and hung him from an olive tree. I assisted in his suicide. Fortunately, I didn't have to. Luck was on our side. Oh. Luck had nothing to do with it. Poor Sean. We couldn't have coped with Charles's millions. We've released him from that responsibility. What would it say on his death certificate? An accidental death by drowning. Mm. I doubt they'll ever find his body. I mean, there are no tides here to wash him ashore. So everyone will think that Sean was a killer. And absolutely nothing connects me to any of the deaths. That's because I did all the dirty work. Have you any idea what it's like to kill someone? To murder an innocent person that you've never even met? Especially that Greek girl. You know I didn't want to kill her. Yeah, I know. I know, but it had to be done. We couldn't risk her recognizing you. But I could have been anyone. She never saw my face. Why Just did I... think of the rewards. I mean, okay, her... Her death wasn't part of the plan, but without it... The police wouldn't have accepted Sean's suicide quite as conveniently as they have. I suppose so. Look, you know I've never been the brains behind all this. That's your department. Mm. I'd have slit Charles's throat just like the others. But you were right. The fix in the car gave us the time that we needed. Mm -hmm. I told you the police would think that Sean had planned a car crash. Giving him enough time to come back here and murder me. You have to cover every angle. You have to be clever. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. She's getting any better. A little bit. Maybe you should see a doctor. I have to go to the capital soon. I'm feeling sick tomorrow. Make an appointment. The urgents don't think it'll take long to send up to you. Yeah. Hopefully, whoever dies with Bella will keep you on. I'm sure you won't lose your job. Can't come back here. Not after everything that's happened. I will never, never forget you, Tina. You won't be the same here without you. The biggest disadvantage of not being seen in public together. Mm -hmm. Put up your cooking. Wasn't that bad, was it? Well, we had worse. The last time you cooked. <laughs> Yeah, they were taking lessons. Why? And I can afford to pay somebody to do it for me. Anyway, I have other skills. Oh, we're free to do whatever we want now. Providing they find Charles's body. All you have to do is suggest that they dredge the sides of the lock by the road. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's down there, mangled and burnt, waiting for you to become his grieving widow. Is everything okay? Yes. Yes. Um, what did you want? Nothing. I just heard voices, so I thought you were... No, I had some papers for Mrs. Logan to sign. Nothing to worry about, Christina. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night. Good night. The case is closed. The police here have been extremely efficient. I think they dealt with it quickly because they wanted it to be forgotten. Hushed up even. I suppose murder and tourism don't mix. So they don't need me anymore? No, nor me, actually. I might as well leave. It's finished. Do you know when the next ferry's due? This afternoon, the last three. Are you ready to go now? Yeah, all packed. I wanted to go sailing one last time before I sail the yachts. I can take you to the mainland if you want. Um, it saves you hanging around. Ready when you are. How much further? Oh, we're about halfway. I'm thirsty. Have you got any beer on board? There's no point, really. You won't be needing it. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Now put it down. Don't play with things you can't handle. I planned the perfect crime. Unfortunately, that involves removing you. You said yourself that I didn't know what it was like to kill someone. Well, I'm about to find out. Are you crazy? I couldn't expose you without convicting myself. This is our secret. It'll keep us together. Forever. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to be with you forever. Give me money to spare, more than you'll ever need. Just give me a little. What I've earned. I'm sorry. As long as you're alive, you're a threat to me. <laughs> You can never have too much money. Whatever's left, you can, um, you can have or Give it away, it's up to you, Tina. I haven't been in Sean's room since, well, you understand. When I'm gone, um, would you clear it out for me? I will. You look tired. Hmm, a long day. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. 
I'd better go. Unless Costa's on his own. <laughs> mm. Oh, did you um, did you find the doctor? Yeah, made an appointment. But uh, even better. Hopefully it was just a stomach bug. Good night, Rodkin. Come here. Come here, please. Who is it? Who's there? Costas, will you find a taxi for me to leave in uh, half an hour, please? No problem. Thank you. Ina, how are you today? Good. Do you want something to eat before you go? Oh, no thanks. It's a little early to start drinking. Or are you beginning to crack Christina! up? Christina! Someone help me! No, they won't hear you. It's just you and me. That is what you said you wanted, isn't it? To get to know me. Maybe when tickets should draw on to you. Slightest <laughs> chance of finding you alive, well, I... Everything would have been different. You are truly amazing. You know that? Unbelievable. How stupid do you think I am? I knew before I came here you'd set me up and probably try and kill me. Oh, I only went along with it to get the evidence I needed. You see, I always held you responsible for my mother's murder. But I had no proof. Now I have. You thought you'd committed the perfect crime. But you were so busy plotting and scheming you didn't realise you were digging your own grave. I don't know what you're talking about. I have a taxi booked. Oh, they won't let you leave. Why? I think you'd better sit down. What I'm about to tell you may come as quite a shock. And before you think of trying anything, you should know that I'm armed. Now you know for sure this was the knife used to kill my mother. The knife your boyfriend. William Tranter bought in Scotland when you first cooked up this crazy, insane plot. Sean? Sit. Go on, sit! Comfortable? So, where do I begin? How about 30 years ago in South Africa? A little girl, born in the slums of Johannesburg, was named Anna. Married at 17 to a wealthy American journalist, she travelled the world and changed her name to Roxanne. Of course, the marriage failed, but left her with a generous divorce settlement, which she mostly squandered until she moved to London, where she met William Tranter. Now, that was a fateful day. Finding his tastes almost as expensive as her own, she had to get a job earn some money. So she worked as a receptionist at one of my father's companies. When she realised her natural charms weren't attracting his attention, when she discovered he was a happily married man with a spoiled brat for a son, she concocted a plan so ridiculous that it almost worked. Your dad knew I didn't agree with the relationship, 
so my name was hardly mentioned, and I left Scotland to go and study in the States. And while I was away, you married. But within six months, he'd realized what a dreadful mistake he'd made. How am I doing so far, Anna? I'm intrigued. You have a wonderful imagination. All that bullshit about being locked up in my little dog Hamish was complete fantasy. But necessary, of course, to create the character of psychotic Sean. It's all very fascinating, Sean, but um, I'm afraid I have a plane to catch. And all I'm hearing so far is ancient history and supposition. Oh, I'm coming to the master plan now. Now, although you had an enviable lifestyle and your love of will to add excitement when required, this wasn't enough, was it? When you bought this place, you planned a family reunion my father wouldn't attend because he'd been involved in a fatal car crash which I'd supposedly been responsible for, allowing me time to come here, lose what sanity I had left before killing some innocent village girl then getting to you. Now, that's how you wanted it to look. And I suppose we all did a pretty convincing job. But I know what really happened. Will fixed the car and watched as my father drove off and then plunged his death in the deep water of Loch Logan. But what you didn't realise is Dad found out about Will Tranter. He had private detectives watching you for years. He wanted to remove you from his life but wasn't prepared to pay out a fortune or be crucified by the media. So when you wanted to buy this place, he could see his opportunity. A remote Greek island where his fame and fortune were unknown. And just like you, he thought this was the sort of place where someone could disappear without too many questions being asked. But whether you're imprisoned for life in some sweaty Greek jail or mysteriously drowned like I was supposed to, he would be free. And you couldn't get your greedy hands in any more of his money. You were so busy framing me, you didn't realise you were falling into a trap yourself. What? What a trap? This is all too ridiculous. I don't want to hear any more of this rubbish. Oh, I couldn't have done it alone. That's why Dad hired Christina. She came to Scotland to meet us and then she applied for the job here. Her brother, Erasmus, was also here to help us, protect us from you and Will. Now, after you'd successfully turned the locals against me, we knew they wouldn't let me leave the village. So we found the safest place for me to fall and paid Erasmus's friends to act as the thugs that chased me there. My swimming style's always been unorthodox and I knew Will let me win that race. But what you didn't know was I practiced swimming underwater to a small cave which can't be seen from the road. Now, after surviving the drop, I waited there until dark when I swam across the bay to your yacht where I've been hiding until now. Now the islanders know the truth, it was no problem for Erasmus to get the knife from the police and leave it here for me. The knife that killed my mother and some innocent girl that should never have been involved in any of this. I didn't want him to kill her. But she just was together. I didn't want any of this to happen. He made me do it. He did. Will planned it so that I had... doesn't suit you, Roxy. <laughs> you made two big mistakes. I was in the yacht when you killed Will, and murder's a very serious crime in any country. I took him to the mainland. He'll be in England. Well, stop lying! I saw everything! But you were right. I mean, who's going to miss him? Impersonating a police officer was one of his lesser crimes. It's your word against mine. And your other big mistake was to underestimate your husband's intelligence. You see, he had well followed. He knew the brakes and steering had been tampered with, so he drove slowly away from the house to where I was waiting to tow him to the detour well had set up en route. The place where we set fire to the car and pushed it down the slope. Well watched as an empty car fell into the log. I then drove Dad to the airport from where he flew to Athens to enjoy a much-needed holiday while the curtain fell on this little drama of ours, ensuring that whatever happened here had nothing to do with him. Well, thank you, Sean. That was very entertaining. You know, I kept on objecting to people calling it a game, but um, that's really what it is, isn't it? A game of which I may not be the winner, but I can walk out of here and there is nothing you can use against me. Now, if you could find Will, well, then you might have a case, but we both know that's not going to happen. 
I will deny anything you accuse me of. Just remember, if you want to avoid a scandal, I am still your father's wife. If he wants to get rid of me, he's gonna have to pay. Unless you're planning to use that knife. Well, I don't need to do that. Then it's so time for me to go. <laughs> My taxi will be here soon. touched you're all here to say goodbye. Go stay safe. Tina. Roxy! Just one more thing before you go. Costas. I found the perfect crime. What should it involves from me? You said yourself that I didn't know what it was like to kill someone. I'm about to find out. You're crazy. I couldn't expose you without convicting myself. I was in a yacht when you killed Will. Murder's a very serious claim in any country. I'm sorry. As long as you're alive, you're threatened. Well, it's a simple choice. Either you'd be arrested for murder, for which you'll receive a life sentence, or. You could step outside and face what could have happened to me. So it's truth or dare. You know, I never loved Charles. Or Will. Things have been different. We would have made a great team. Well, I don't think I'll be needing these. So, uh, I'll take my chances outside. Wish me luck. You know I don't swim very well. Just a thought. Aye, he's on his way. Should be here any time now. Then we can tell him the good news. It's going to be a grandfather. What? I'm pregnant. <laughs> my baby. We're in Scotland. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 